we are on Main Street, celebrating an array of Guyanese arts and our cultural diversity. Let us find out more about this magnificent art form, the intricate pieces, and the special people behind them. Come, let us take a look at street carvings and wooden sculptures. Born a child, have to put basket on her head. She can't put basket on her head. The child is here. It's a here. Child. Family piece. A family piece, a family tree. A family, right? a family will enjoy the moment with each other in a conversation. One is to see between the family. One is to come with I love art. To the highest maximum. I enjoy doing it. You know. I'm happy to the young people to step in the art field, you know, you know. There's a lot of senior person in the art group today in Guyana. Most of us, us on the way going. And we need to encourage young people to get into the art. Because somebody gotta carry on. Okay. The art school is there, but most people don't want to come. Morning slow, hard work. We gotta wait for it. You see that? This is the mouth of the whale. And there's a school of fish hanging out on the whale. But they blend everything into it. That's why these things are abstract. If you look at it, yeah. this is how a whale is feeding over the mouth open like that. Yes. And it's, it's sucking in pla plantains, eh? however they call the thing. And this, these, these now, they just getting a ride around the You see, even even this octopus is a part of the tail, if you look at it. There's a pure octopus at the back end, farming the tail of the wheel. You understand? And these are the fish that ride in, ride in the wheel. This is the National Gallery of Arts, Castellani House. Join me as you celebrate these beautiful pieces from Guyanese arts such as Giuseppe Tamayo and world-renowned Philip Moore. Philip Moore, born in British Guyana and well-known for his creation of the 1763 monument. These are some pieces on display at the Museum of African Heritage. The wood from old trees are used to make these sculptures. The sculptures recycle wood by converting them into the exquisitely delightful pieces we see today. Carving is the process, while the end result is an abstract or physical form known as sculpture. It was a pleasure taking you on a journey into the world of wood sculpting. I hope you were inspired and educated by Guyana's talented sculptors. Just remember, sculpture is the art of intelligence. Pablo Picasso.